Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today I am going to find the Laplace transform of natural log of t. Okay, uh, to start uh, to solve this uh, problem, uh, first uh, we should uh, talk about the definition of Laplace transform. We know uh, the Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus s t times f of t d t. Okay, then uh, to find the Laplace transform of natural log of t, I am going to take uh, this case Laplace transform of uh, t to the m times natural log of t. Then uh, using uh, this definition we can write this is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus s t times t to the m times natural log of t d t okay then uh, i am going to take a substitution so i am going to uh, take x is equal to s times t then uh, differentiate so we have dx is equal to s times d t then uh, sorry hmm. we can plug in here so we can write now limit we know also 0 to infinity now here e to the minus st st we know x so e to the minus x uh, then t we can isolate the t t we know uh, x over s so we have x over s raised to the m power times natural log of uh, t again we know x over s times dt we know dt is equal to dx over s ok then uh, here we have uh, s 1 over s to the m power here 1 over s so we can take 1 over s to the m plus 1 outside of the integral sign and here 0 to infinity now here we have e to the minus x times x to the m uh, times here natural log of x over s so uh, according to property of natural log we can write natural log of x minus natural log of s uh, times dx ok then uh, we can uh, simplify a little bit so we can write here uh, 1 over s raised to the m plus 1 integral from uh, 0 to infinity here e to the minus x times x to the m times natural log of x uh, dx minus integral from 0 to infinity uh, natural log of s times e to the minus x times x to the m dx okay then uh, here I think uh, this is uh, familiar with us because uh, we know the definition of uh, gamma function we know uh, gamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the c minus 1 dx now if we differentiate with respect to c we have gamma dash of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the c minus 1 times natural log of x dx so now we can write uh, our uh, question laplace transform of uh, t to the m laplace transform of t to the m natural log of t is equal to now here we have 1 over 1 over s raised to the m plus 1 and uh, we know now uh, this is equal to uh, gamma dash of uh, here we have m here c minus 1 so gamma dash of m plus 1 so gamma dash of m plus 1 
then here we have natural log of s we know constant so we can write outside of the integer sign natural log of s and then here we have e to the minus x x to the m we know the definition of gamma function so here gamma of m plus 1 okay then uh, i am going to take the uh, gamma of m plus 1 as a common factor so gamma of m plus 1 over s raised to the m plus 1 power and here we have gamma dash of m plus 1 over gamma of m plus 1 minus natural log of s okay then uh, in a previous video about uh, digamma function video uh, we talked about uh, we know uh, the digamma function digamma of x is equal to gamma dash of x over gamma of x so we can write here this is equal to digamma of x plus sorry m plus 1 so we can write now uh, this is equal to uh, gamma of m plus 1 over s raised to the m plus 1 times now this is equal to we know digamma of m plus 1 minus natural log of s okay now uh, when m is equal to 0 when m is equal to 0 uh, we have laplace transform of natural log of t is equal to here we have uh, gamma of uh, 1 gamma of 1 we know 1 so 1 over here m plus 1 power so s times uh, here di gamma of 1 di gamma of 1 minus natural log of s uh, in previous video we also find the value of di gamma of 1 we know this is equal to minus gamma gamma we know Euler's mass coronary constant so we have uh, minus gamma minus natural log of s over s this is the uh, laplace transform of natural log of t okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching